Yeah. Wild Bill Bauer joins us. Where are you from, Wild Bill? I am from a small town in Minnesota, Anoka, Minnesota. Small town, great place to grow up. My dad never locked the door there. We got robbed like 12 times. <laughs> locked the door. <laughs> 12 times. Holy cow, man. What kind of stuff do you have? They keep robbing you. Over and over and over. You get stuff, they take it. You get more stuff, and they take that. <laughs> you think it's a conspiracy on part of the insurance companies? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was well thought out and, and well yeah. put. <laughs> so is your whole family from uh, up there in Minnesota there, eh? My whole family is from Minnesota, and we're the most Catholic family in America. My brother John is a priest. My sister, Kathleen, is a nun. My sister, Susie, has taught Catholic school in my hometown for 20 years. Holy cow. How many and I have two brothers who are attorneys, so it sort of evens itself out karma wise. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of families, I'd be the black sheep. <laughs> how, 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 how was it when you went to the family and said, hey, I'm going to be a stand up comedian? How do, how do they go with that? Not well received. <laughs> uh,. In fact, there was a sanity hearing involved. <laughs> but I am far from the weirdest guy in my family. A uh, lot of heavy drinking. Worse was my Uncle Arnie. Arnie drank like a pig. Of course, Arnie was under a lot of pressure. At one time, he was the number two ranked Russian roulette player in the United States. <laughs> really? We're at the finals of the United States Russian roulette open. I brought my sugar here to Nary Jackson, and we're coming to you live! For now, <laughs> <laughs> our two finalists, Arnie Bauer from Minoka, Minnesota, Crazy Joe Clemens from the back of the road. Our finalists are leaving the practice area. <laughs> Up with him, coin toss in the air. Crazy Joe wins. Has decided to go first. <laughs> Got to move. Yeah. I can see Crazy Joe, going. the only veteran in the field. Last year's Rookie of the Year. <laughs> up to the table, picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head. Click, click, somebody stop him, click. Uh, that crazy Joe, what a competitor. He came here to play. <laughs> I'd like to thank our sponsor, the National Rifle Association. And this match is moving right along. I don't think I've reminded anyone, this is sudden death. <laughs> Here comes Arnie. Arnie just came off the disabled list. <laughs> He's regained almost full use of his left side. <laughs> He'll be playing right-handed today. <laughs> He's walking up to the table now. Step, drag. <laughs> Step, drag, stumble, drool. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. Picks up the pistol, spins it. Ah! He's asked for a timeout. I can't say that I blame them. They're playing for over five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's winner take all. Loser actually goes in the hole on this one. <laughs> Arnie's ready back in, picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head. Oh, he's asked for the timeout. If Arnie's not careful, Crazy Joe's gonna get a penalty shot. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be murder. <laughs> Let's take a second here and check our scoreboard while Arnie's changing his pants. <laughs> no! He's ready! Back in, picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head! Bang! Thud! Oh. oh. He's struggling to his foot. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> you guys didn't think that was going to have a happy ending, did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of hopeful. We were, we were hoping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, that That's great. Uh, oh, Bill. Hey, uh, Bill, uh, you, you've been around the uh, the world of comedian or the, the, the comedian entertainment, uh, you know, what, are, what you do for business. quite a while. Yeah, the business. <laughs> yeah, you've been in Lord. the business for quite a while, man. You know, from when you started to maybe now, it, how has comedy changed? Oh, uh, it's a night and day. I mean, when I started out, we invented it. I mean, this is 25 some odd years ago. We invented it. There was no stand up comedy. So a small group of people in each city invented it. And you all had your own rules. And another thing, if you were funny 
and you went to Los Angeles, if you were funny, you got on TV. Yeah. I didn't have any trouble getting on TV. You know, I didn't get the Tonight Show, but I was on Showtime, I was on MTV, I was on Evening at the Improv a million times. I was on Louis Anderson's HBO Showcase. Plus, I got in the Writers Guild. I sold some scripts. Wow. Hmm. You know why? I was funny. Yep. <laughs> Today, yep. you better be really funny. <laughs> yeah. Because things have clamped up. Yeah. I mean, not only is there re- there's a recession going on, it affects everybody. Right. So uh, kind of uh, people today who are funny don't get on TV all the time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it just you know, some people are funny or they're just funny. It's to be on TV. Yep. And the money was a lot better back then. Mm-hmm. Uh, my income this last year has been halved. Ooh, wow! Because yes, because uh, the the corporations just aren't hiring entertainment anymore. Have you had to cut back on jokes because of that, or? Uh, <laughs> hey, you know you could use no, that. I got to cut back on food. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's a lot different today than it was twenty five yeah. years ago. So, what type? What kind of places did you play like back when you were first starting out? I mean, there wasn't there weren't real a lot of comedy clubs around at the time. Well, you know what? It happened overnight. Hmm. One day there weren't any comedy clubs, and the next day there was one in every city. Wow. My well, first time my phone rang, it was a guy from Atlanta. He goes, listen, I'll pay $1,000 in your airfare to come down here to Atlanta and feature. Then I'll give you a 15 in your airfare the next week to headline. <laughs> in another city. I mean, yeah. the money was crazy. Right. And the perks, free food, free drinks, everything. Yep. Ooh, free drinks. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I liked it too much, and then I ended up having to quit. Yeah. You know, I quit drinking 24 years ago. When I... When I quit, if you got a drunk driving ticket, you were in trouble, but you could recover. Mm -hmm. Today, it is the one mistake that can ruin your life. Mm, That's true. It is. And you know what? It's not right. I don't care if you throw the book at the second, third, and fourth time offender. (laughs) The first time guy coming over from a party just happens to get pulled over. Come on. Give him a ticket, but don't make it life and death. It can ruin your life. Sure. Yeah. And I've got a son who likes to drink, and I told him, I said, Patrick, don't go in your life. Call me. <laughs> Call me. If I'm out of town, I'll use my credit card to get your cab home, but don't go in your life. Right. Well, several months ago, four in the morning, phone rings, says, Patrick, he says, Dad. I said, yeah. He said, could you buzz over a condom? <laughs> 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 put it on your credit card. <laughs> exactly. Well, Bill, um, you know we appreciated your time here hanging out with us. Uh, if uh, thank you. If anybody wants to uh, to come see Wild Bill Bauer in person, uh, you know, coming up in the near future, where can we do that? Well, let's see. Where am I at? I I got to look at my calendar. I'm in Newton, Iowa, on Friday, so my career's on fire. <laughs> 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 I'm in Decora on uh, Saturday, then I'm in St. Louis the week after that. Then I'm here in Minneapolis. I'm at uh, the Paddleford uh, boat uh, thing. And uh, then we're... Oh, I'm going to Rosso, Minnesota. That's <laughs> six hours north of Minneapolis. Isn't that yeah, Canada from there? there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely wear your long, long johns, that's for sure, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bill, what's your website? Is it... WildBillBauer.com or MPLS, that's Minneapolis abbreviated, MPLS Comedy All Stars, all one word. There it is. Wild Bill Bauer. Thank you so much for coming on to the show, into the bastard of the day, man. We do appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Right, My man. pleasure. And we'll talk soon. Thanks, uh, Bill. 